Latinos like to Zoom in front of small beds. So do Mexicans. What? Yes. That's yes. crazy. Hi, I'm Jacob Vargas, and I am a proud Mexican-American. And I'm Joe Coy, and I'm a proud Filipino-American. On Mr. Iglesias, I play a food truck owner that's accused of appropriating Mexican cuisine. But in reality, Latinos and Filipinos have a lot more in common than you might realize. So today, we're going to answer some questions to find out just how culturally similar we really are. I gotta say Garcia, man. I have a lot of friends and they're all Garcias. Is that right, Garcias's or just Garcias? All the Garcias's <laughs> in one circle, please. <laughs> I'm gonna say Garcia again. Yeah, 100% Garcia. Yes! Yeah! Oh, I love this. I knew it, I knew it. I would have to say, I think it's Reyes. Am I right? Yes, it's 100% Reyes. I have so many Reyes in my family. That looks like a vegan's oh. worst nightmare. Mexicans, we would say that's like carnitas. Cubans would say that's lechon. Wow. Is that right? Am I right? Well, here's the thing. Fil Filipinos, we go crazy for this. Uh, this we usually get uh, during weddings or birthdays. And we call that lechon. We call that lechon. Okay. You know what I'm learning right now, Jacob? Yeah, what are we learning? That you and I are related. And I, I love think you. so, man. Yeah. Latinos don't give a damn about being on time. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like time, like when you set a time, it's it's like just be like an optimistic yeah. beginning time. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like if all goes well, I'd like to start the wedding at this time. Yeah. But you know it's not. Yeah. The number that they give is the beginning of the time frame. <laughs> right. So one o'clock and you know, between Ish. one, two, three, as long as you're there. Filipinos are the same way about time, man. Late. Never early. Right. One thing my one thing about Filipinos, never on time for anything important. But then they'll get mad at you if you're late for work. Why are you late for work? Right. You right. need to be right. on time. I learned that from you, mom. Right. You taught me how to be late. My mom prays a lot to Jesus, but I feel like she prays a lot more to like the Virgen of Guadalupe. Like that's, <laughs> like she lights a candle for everything. Yes. You know, like, like, like when she like, oh, Mijo, your show's coming out. I'm going to light a candle and pray for good ratings and, and a season three. Yeah, my but, mom uh, loves to pray to the Virgin Mary. You know, Jesus is peace. Right. I'm going to talk to his man. Right. <laughs> Pac-Man, man. You know, Manny Pacquiao. He's, he, that, that's a man right there, man. He actually like retired De La Hoya. So that's... Yeah. That was yeah. crazy. Mexican boxers are everything to Filipinos, man. Because before there was Manny, I mean, who didn't love Barrera? Who didn't love Marquez? Who didn't love De La Hoya, Chavez? Right. Like, right. I mean, those were, uh, we'd be lying if we didn't say that wasn't Manny's inspiration. My go-to for, for Mexicans would be Chavez. I got too many primos. Like I got primos that I don't even know are my primos. Like, yep. and I feel like like the the more visibility I got as an actor, the more they would come out of the woodwork. Well, I don't know how many aunties and uncles I just got <laughs> within the last five years. Right. But uh, they're here now, and they're here to stay. <laughs> right. Puto is like it's a fighting word. All right. Now, puto to us, it's it, it's a Spanish word, obviously, uh, but it's actually a dessert that we give to someone after the fight. Right. So after right. someone fights and they make up, they're like, you know, I'm sorry about that. Here's some puto. The puto, yeah. Diet. It will put you in.
Good mood. Puto. Well, Mexico was a Spanish colony for 300 years. And here's the crazy thing. The Philippines was colonized by the Spanish for like 333 years. There you go. Boom. There you go. That's why I have uncles that look like you. A lot of people don't know this, but it was the Filipinos who in 1965 started the Great Boycott. And uh, eventually Cesar Chavez and Dolores Puerta joined in. And uh, so they co-founded the United Farm Workers Union with uh, Larry Itleon and Cesar Chavez and Dolores Puerta. So, so we've always been working together, man. That's why here we are, man. That's why we're, That's why we're you're my connected, cook. brother. That's why you're my Filipino primo. You're my, my Filipino. Si se puede. I love you so much, bro. Love you too, bro.